right, guys, as you can tell, we're in the airport, heading to Kansas City for work. But if we're filming, it's gotta mean one thing, hooker vlog action. Harris, Kansas City is the plan. One, two, or one, three, whatever they're running, we're playing tonight. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Harris, Kansas City Casino Resort Hotel. I don't know, they're telling me this used to be a damn river boat or something, I don't believe it, we're on land here, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, this is episode 153, we're in Kansas City for work, and we're gonna get into some poker. They have one, two, and two, five running. I hope you guys enjoy it, here we go. All right, guys, real quick. If you're new here, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel out. It helps me out. If you're not new here, I appreciate you guys returning. Thank you for the support. Wouldn't be able to come on all these trips if it weren't for you guys and all the support. And speaking of support, if you're feeling up to it, go check the merch shop down below, Felt Life Store. Get a card protector, hat, hoodie, t-shirt. Appreciate the support again. Let's go. Okay, so I bought in for 300 and before I sat down, I was not made aware that it was 1-2 match the stack. So, anyway, here we go. Okay, after an orbit or two, maybe three, without having any decent cards to play, I decided to take a shot with Ace-6. The table's semi-aggressive, but nothing too crazy. And I'm in middle position. I limp. I know. Don't need to hear it. We go four ways to the flop, and the flop is okay. It's seven, six, nine with two diamonds. I have the ace of diamonds and a pair of sixes at this point. So there's a lot of possibilities, let's say. It checks to me, and I throw out a bet of $11. Everybody but the cutoff folds, so we're heads up now. And boom, two pair right there on the turn. Aces and sixes. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I throw out a bet of $20. And the cutoff thinks about it, but not for too long. He looks at his cards and says, all right, we'll see one more. And throws his calling chips in. The river is the five of clubs. I'm not liking that too much. But at this point, I feel like I was pretty committed. So I decide to uh, bet $35. And without too much hesitation, he says, okay, I call. And I flip over my cards and show him a6, and he says, I have an 8. Boom. 8 deuce. Guess we'll take this loss, take it on the chin, and move on to the next one. All right, mid-session update. We're about two hours in, and I'm down about 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, it was a pretty tough table to begin with, but then I started winning a couple hands, hitting some flops. Let's hope the run good continues, or what is the run good anyway. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. It's late at night. Let's go back to it. Okay, in this hand, I have ace eight in the small blind. Gets raised to $10, and I decide to call. And one other call, uh, one other person calls, I'm sorry. And we're three ways to the flop. The flop is ace six three with two spades. I check. And the other two checks all the way around to the turn, which is the eight of hearts. Got two pair again. Let's hope it holds this time. I decide to lead out with a bet of $10. He calls. The river is the queen of clubs. I don't think that changes too much unless he has ace queen. I bet 20 and he tanks for a good 15, 20 seconds. I sped it up here. 
And he says, okay, I call. And I show the two pair, and he says, you're good, and just uh, mucks his cards. We'll take down our first pot of the night. Okay, here we are with the Cowboys, Pocket Kings, second best hand in all of poker. I'm in a middle position. There's a couple folds and it limps to me and I decide to make it $20 to go. And I see one guy call, the semi-aggressive guy is caught bluffing a couple times calls, another guy calls, and then like one more calls? What the hell? Okay, well, we'll take it with Kings here. I, I guess this is a decently aggressive game. So, uh, we're going five ways to the flop, folks. Flop is decent with our Kings. Eight, seven, four, rainbow. Not too much uh, that's scary about that board. I mean, obviously, there's some connectors there. But anyway, uh, the small blind bets $20. And there is one fold and... Everybody else calls, so we are four ways to the turn, and the turn doesn't really improve us, but kind of makes that board a little bit scarier. It's the nine of hearts. The small blind bets $45. So everybody, again, after some tanking, I sped it up here, the guy uh, to my right, tanked for a good bit, and then I put a little bit of thought into it. I'm thinking, does he have 5-6 for the straight? Uh, uh, I just couldn't quite figure it out because the guy had bluffed a couple times, but I call after the guy to my right calls. So here we are off to the river, which is another 9. It's the 9 of diamonds. Doesn't change too much here. Uh, gives me two pair other than that. But So again, the small blind bets, $75. This time, the guy to my right isn't looking too happy, and he decides to go ahead and fold. And I say, you know what? Call. I got kings. If you got it, you got it. And he says, good call. And I show him the bad news. He said, I had a small two pair with that river. And I said, well, probably doesn't beat the kings, obviously. And he says, nope, nope. That's why I said good call. And yeah, we'll take down uh, what is a uh, almost $400 pot here. And we're back up now. All right, quick update. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We're up $40. Finally just got pocket kings again. Did something with them. Made a little bit of money. Let's go. Okay, in this hand, well, we got down to three players on the table. That's right. We're playing three-handed and playing... Reduced raked poker. Well, the room was getting ready to close in an hour, and it was about 4 a.m. I don't know if I was delirious or just stupid for playing this late. I was super tired, but we decided to play anyway, so here we go. Okay, with ace-king here, I make it $10 to go, and everybody, which is the only two guys left, call. So we're three ways to the flop, which is very, very favorable. Ace, ace, jack, boom. We hit trips, checks it to the turn. We hit a deuce of diamonds. I have the king of diamonds. It's getting a little bit better. I bet 10. There's one fold, and the guy across from me calls. River, boom, full house. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a little bit more money out of this guy. I bet 20, and he doesn't hesitate for too long to call. And when he does call, he goes, I have trips, and I show him that I got a full house. He was like, damn, I thought I was good, but nowhere near it. Good hand, man, and, and everybody's laughing about it. It was a good time. All right, so after about five hours of play, like four and a half, up $151, as you saw. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. And I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life. As long as you're living, 
the film.